Hello, Animanian here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to import animations from Dead by Daylight into Blender. So this is what we're going to be creating today. So as we can see, it's the Hulk Sacrifice animation from Dead by Daylight. So this actually has three animations, um, F Spider struggled to sacrifice, F being killed by Spider in, and F being killed by Spider out. And as we can see, uh, Fang's being lifted up into the air by the entity's tentacles. So uh, we actually have to import a total of six animations here for the entity tentacles and for the survivor um, herself. Okay, um, and we, if we have time, we're also going to be doing the second animation here, which is the end game sacrifice animation. So as we can see, Fang's having a great time uh, being impaled and then uh, being uh, brutally stabbed um, in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so um, so without further ado, um, before we get started, uh, there is a link to this Discord in the description below, so please look in the video description, and if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask here, because there's some incredibly kind and talented people right here um, who would be willing to help, so just send me a message as well if you need any help whatsoever, because I'm happy to do so. Okay, so software prerequisites for this method. So what are the software prerequisites? So first of all, type in PSK, uh, PSA, uh, GitHub. Okay, so then just click on the first link here. Okay, and just scroll down. So you should see current branch latest. So you wanna right click on 280 direct link and you wanna save link as. Okay, so I'm just gonna save it here. Um, I've already saved a copy, but that's all good. Okay, so next, uh, what you want to do is you want to type in UE Shader Script uh, GitHub into Google. So this is an add-on that I myself uh, made. So you want to click on the first link there, and you want to click on Releases. Okay, and you want to click on the first one here. So in this case, at the time of recording, it is this. Okay, so you want to start the download. I won't do it because I've done it already, but you want to click on this zip file right here. Okay, and the third thing we want to download is this plugin that I've made here, which is called Few Skeletons GitHub. So you want to type that into Google, click on the first link, and you want to go to the releases tab here, and you want to click on the first zip file that's right here. Okay, and I won't do it because I've already downloaded it, um, but yeah, you'll have to do that. And the final thing we need to do is just type in UModel uh, UE Viewer into Google. Okay, and you want to click on the first link right here. So UE Viewer, a Gildor's homepage. From there, you want to click on this download button right there, and you want to download the version for your operating system. So in my case, that would be the Windows 32 version, which I'm not going to download because I've already downloaded it already, uh, but you'll have to do that. Okay, so from there, uh, what we're going to have to do is to start to install those plugins right there. Um, it also should be um, pretty obvious, but you also need to install Blender because You'll probably, you'll need to install Blend, no, whoops, not that one, Blender. And yeah, so, and the latest version is 3.0, so just go to the download and you'll have to download and install Blender as well. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna open Blender um, and just type, uh, put in a general, so just make a new tab. And what you wanna do from here is to install these plugins. So you wanna go Edit, Preferences, add-ons, okay? So you wanna click on this add-ons right here. From there, you wanna start installing the add-ons by pressing the install button right here. So you wanna to navigate to wherever you downloaded those plugins in the previous step. So, and we wanna download them by install them one by one. So first off, you wanna select UE Shader Script, uh, that zip file, and you wanna press install add-on. Um, I'm not gonna do it because I've done it already, uh, but you'll have to do that. Second, you wanna uh, type in UE space, shader, okay, into this filter right here. And you wanna make sure that this checkbox right here on the left is enabled, okay? Uh, now, uh, we wanna uh, install the next plugin, so just go back to wherever you uh, downloaded those plugins, and you wanna select IO import scene unreal PSA, PSK 280.py. You wanna select that, press install add-on. Okay, so I'm just going to go uh, now to search PSK, and you want to make sure that this add-on is enabled too. So this import, export, uh, uh, Unreal 
mesh, a skeleton mesh. So you wanna make sure that this checkbox is enabled. And the final thing we wanna to install to Blender is you wanna go back to wherever it is uh, you downloaded those plugins and this Fuse Skeletons zip file. So you wanna click it and press install add-on. I'm not gonna do it because I've already installed it, but yeah, you'll have to do that. Okay, so just type Fuse space skeletons. Okay, so you wanna enable this add-on right here then. Okay, so just make sure that this checkbox is enabled. Okay, so from here, um, we've installed all the add-ons that we need to do, uh, but uh, we actually need to actually start um, exporting the models from Unreal Engine um, from the game. So uh, what we're gonna have to do is type in, so we're gonna have to go to wherever we downloaded uh, the umodel.zip file. Okay, so I've placed it on, on my D drive in this case, so I've placed it right here. So what you have to do here is just right click, extract here or extract files. Okay, so that will give you all this right here. So you can either uh, use umodel.exe or umodel64.exe uh, if your system supports 64. So I'm gonna use umodel64.exe by double clicking on that. Okay, so from here, you have to navigate to the pack files. So if you don't have the pack files, you can download them from the uh, Discord in the description below in uh, the pack files channel. Okay, so you can download the latest pack files, which is 5.4.0 from the pack files channel. However, uh, if you have the Steam game yourself, um, you can just use that instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, use the Steam game files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my library and then I'm gonna go to Dead by Daylight I click on this cog icon here and manage browse local files. Okay, so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in the address bar, somewhere empty on the right of the address bar. So just inside here to highlight this right here. So from here, I'm gonna press control C to copy this path right here. And then I'm going to put it right here. So control C, and then I put it, highlight this thing right here, press control V to paste it. Okay, so for Dead by Daylight, we need to override game detection, Unreal Engine 4, 4.25, okay? And press the OK button there. So where we need to go now is we need to go to game. So, and so characters. So characters is where all the models are stored. So campers is for survivors and slashes is for killers. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is we're going to use a Michaela for this one. So I'm going to, uh, go down here. So you'll notice that they all have code names here. So how can we figure out what code name means what? So uh, if you just go in the Discord uh, below, so if we're looking for uh, Michaela, so how would we know uh, which survivor is where? So we just go to the FAQ can channel and we just scroll to the top right here. We can see that um, Michaela is S28, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go to S28 Okay, so I'm just gonna go S28 here, and I'm gonna to go to the models folder. Okay, so uh, first things first, I wanna to go to the models folder and I wanna export this base skeleton. So I wanna select this S28D skeleton ref, not the physics asset, but just this one here, the ref, then I wanna export, okay? And I'm just gonna create a new folder here. I'm gonna call it, um, let's say, uh, animation, uh, DVD animation tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna select that folder. I'm gonna press okay. Okay, next thing I wanna do is I wanna export just the different models. So what I wanna do is I wanna right click on this models folder, I wanna open folder content, okay? So we can press page down and page up to navigate to the different models here. So I'm gonna press page down and as you can see here, I'm starting to see these materials here, but I don't wanna see those materials. I just wanna see meshes. So I wanna nav uh, make sure I go to navigate and make sure include meshes is checked. Okay, so from now, when I press page down, you should see that I only get meshes. So when I get to a mesh that I want and I'm gonna tag it, so I'm gonna press control T to tag it. So that means that it's gonna be left on the screen. So now I can press page down and, and as you can see, I still have that mesh on the screen. So I'm gonna tag that hat as well. Um, actually not that hat. Maybe I'm gonna tag, yeah, so this hat, I'm gonna tag this hat here, and I'm also gonna tag um, this Halloween uh, outfit, and I'm gonna tag this one here, 
So I'm gonna tag those three and I think that should be enough. So I'm gonna to go tools, export current object and press okay. Okay, so now I've exported uh, Michaela, but I also wanna export the animations um, to test her out. So I wanna to go to animations and actually not this one menu. Yeah, so yeah, so I just click on this here. So to open this animations folder and click on menu and menu I'd actually sit on log. Sit on log uh, tests uh, the skeleton the most. Okay, so now we have that, so we have Michaela, but we also want um, two things. We want the survivor animations uh, for being sacrificed. So we wanna go to common, animation, and female, okay? So if you're going for a male survivor, you wanna go for inside the male and uh, animations folder instead. But since we're, we have a female survivor, I'm gonna go to the female uh, folder. Okay, I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. So from here, I wanna go into the Atom Sequences folder and I wanna open up the animation Atom Sequences folder. And I wanna to go to, down to um, Camper Interaction. Okay, no, it's not Camper Interactions. It is Object Interactions, okay? So from here, I wanna get a few animations. I wanna get being killed by spider in, being killed by sp spider loop, and being killed by spider out. Okay, so I just hold the control key to select multiple animations there. I also wanna get uh, the, what animation is it called again? Uh, F spider struggle. Okay, so I also wanna uh, look for F spider struggle. Okay, F spider struggle. Okay, so that will be all the animations for the survivor uh, being sacrificed for this uh, file right here, okay? So I'm just gonna, so I make sure that they're all selected at once, then press export, okay. So if you want the second one right here, so this uh, uh, animation right here, this animation is called, let me just go to the NLA editors just so I can have a look at what it's called. It's called uh, F Endgame BK, okay? So basically, if you want this Endgame Sacrifice animation, it's F uh, Endgame BK. So if I just go up, uh, where is it? F and game. Okay, so in order to look for this, I'm actually just gonna search it up. So F and game. Okay, so I can't find it. That's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use flat view. Okay, so I'm gonna look for flat view and I'm gonna look for uh, end game BK. So that's fine. So I'm gonna use this one right here. Okay, I'm gonna export it there. Okay, I'm gonna turn off flat view and actually it was in hits there. Okay, so if you wanted the end game animation, it's right there. Okay, but that's all good. So I've exported all the animations for the survivor, but we also need to uh, export, well, we need to export the hook itself. So this hook right here, and we also need to uh, export this uh, uh, spider entity kind of thing, this model. So let's do that real quick. So um, we know that if in the game characters folder is where the character models are stored but the environment and other things, um, other meshes are stored in this meshes folder, game meshes, okay? So game meshes, interactable objects for hooks and stuff. So what I'm going to look for uh, is, let's do the hook itself first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down to meat hook right here. So meat hook is the hooks, and you wanna go to the models folder. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna export this hook banshee, okay? So I just double clicked on it to to uh, open this up. I'm gonna to go to tools, export object, and I'm just going to export this one as well. I then press O to exit it. So O to go back to this normal folder. Um, I don't actually need any of the animations from this folder right here, um, but what I will get is I will get the entity objects here. So the second thing is I need this uh, entity object. So this um, uh, thing that's attached to the hook right there. So this is under a game, meshes, interactable objects, entity objects. And I wanna look for the models folder and I want to use, uh, so <laughs> that one's the other one there. So if I press O, that one's the this one right here. Um, but so, but if you want the meat hook spider, you have to use SK meat hook spider ref. Okay, so if I just go inside of it to just, just to check it out, that seems right. So I'm gonna to go tools, export current object and press okay. Okay, so, and if you wanna do the end game kind of thing, you wanna export this one here as well. So tools, export current object. Okay, and we also need the animations for that. So if we wanna look for um, 
So if we just go back to this folder right here, um, and if I just scroll right down, if I scroll right down here, you should see that we need the, um, for this skeleton right here, for the um, spider skeleton, I need SK stab in, I need SK stab out, so I'm using the control key to select both of those, and also I need, uh, I need the SK spider struggle to sacrifice. Okay, so I need those three animations. So I'm just gonna export and I'm gonna press OK. Um, but if you wanna do the end game animation right here, we need the uh, entity end game BK, okay? Animation right there. So I'm just gonna go back to this animations, anim sequences folder, uh, entity end game BK. So that's right there. If you wanna do the end game animation. Okay, so we've exported everything correctly. Now what we're gonna do is just import it all into Blender. Okay, so I'm just going to open Blender and I'm gonna close these files right here because I don't actually need them. So I'm just going to, uh, so what I did here is I'm just going to turn on uh, screencast keys so you can actually see what I'm doing. And uh, let's see, okay, cool. So basically what I did here is I pressed A to select all objects and I pressed X to delete everything. Then I pressed enter to uh, confirm that. Okay, so uh, from here, what we need to do is we need to import all the meshes. So what you wanna do is press N to open up this properties panel right here and you wanna to go to PSK PSA. So from here, you wanna make sure that this reorient bones option is checked and you wanna to go to uh, make this uh, on the setting of mesh. Okay, so now you wanna start importing the survivor PSK files. So let's get to where, where we exported, navigate to where we exported the survivor and other things from U model. Okay, so let's have a look. So basically, uh, I'm gonna to go to the DVD animation tutorial folder. I'm gonna to go to game characters and I'm gonna just bookmark this folder right here. Let me just delete some of my other bookmarks because I don't really need them. So I, I, to make a bookmark, basically, when you're in this folder here, just press this plus icon right here. Okay, so, and that'll make a bookmark. Okay, so I'm in the characters folder. I'm gonna to go to campers uh, S28 for Michaela. So, and I'm gonna go import the torso, the legs and the head. Okay, so the torso, legs, and head, they always need to be imported on the setting of mesh. So I'm gonna import the torso first. Wait, what? What? Okay, interesting. Okay, so, yep, sure, <laughs> that's fine. So we're gonna import that torso there on the setting of mesh. I'm also gonna import this head on the setting of mesh here. And I'm gonna also import uh, the legs on the setting of mesh. Okay, so actually this this survivor model is a little bit weird um, because, so don't worry. So I'm also gonna import the hat on the setting of all, okay? So the heads, accessory, models, hair, okay? That's fine. And I'm also going to import, okay, no, that's fine actually. That's a little weird, but that's okay. Okay, okay, yep, that's all good. Okay, so from here, so this is a non-standard animation because, I'm um, sorry, a non-standard skeleton because normally I would not be doing it like this. Um, but also let's go back to the PSK thing and let's also import uh, the, let's go back by pressing this arrow here and let's go import the base skeleton. Okay, so we've imported the base skeleton here. That's all good. Okay, so from here, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to you select all these skeletons here and select the last skeleton, which is uh, the base skeleton there. And I'm gonna to go to this view skeletons tab. So remember, I can press N to open this properties panel and select skeleton S28 D skeleton ref. So we're gonna select the S28 D skeleton ref dot AO, that skeleton there and press view skeletons. Okay, so now we're just gonna really quickly test this skeleton out. So the way to test if we've done it correctly is to uh, click on this skeleton right here and click on import PSA. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to the S28 animations folder, menu, sit on log animation. Okay, so this will tell you if you've done it correctly. Okay, so yeah, this goes kind of um, a little bit screwy, but that's all good. Um, but yeah, so that works because the mesh isn't distorting wildly, which is pretty great indeed. Okay, so I'm just gonna press Control Z to undo all that. 
Uh, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press A and select everything, and I'm going to press control, hold the control key and select a mesh last. From here, uh, you can see that the active object, that it has a special white color when it's selected, um, is the mesh. So I can right click on, in the viewer and shade smooth. So all the meshes are going to be smooth now. Okay, but the problem is we don't have any materials. So if we click on this material preview in the top right here, like in the top right here, you'll see we don't have any materials there. Okay, but that's fine. We'll solve that real quick. So what we're going to do here is use the load UE shaders panel right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the clothing preset. So first of all, I go down to the clothing preset. So the first thing you need to do to use this, because this add-on is really confusing, <laughs> apologies, that's my fault for programming it kind of confusing, is the first step is we start off here by selecting a preset. Okay, so the number one step, we start off by selecting a preset. Okay, the second thing is we basically um, just go down to here. So we go down to this option, these options here. Okay, but you'll see there's two boxes there. That's kind of confusing. What box do we use? Good question. Good question indeed. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this first box here first because this is the major confusion people have with my add-on right here, um, but I'll try to solve it today in this video. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So let me click on this torso right here. So if you can see this torso, and I'm going to go to the materials tab, which is this little ball down here, right? It's this little ball right down there. Okay, so um, let's have a look at this. So can you see how this one uh, mesh right here, if I click on the mesh, the torso mesh, has three materials, right? So we have some different presets. So the S28 uh, torso, uh, the upper body thing is probably a skin texture right here, right? So it doesn't make sense to put the clothing preset on the skin material. That's the first thing to realize, right? So some things like the torso right here is probably a clothing material, just guessing. And this one here is probably a skin material, right? So we want to load different presets to different materials, okay? So how would we do that with this thing right here? So let's first start off by uh, putting a zero here, okay? So if I put a zero right here, what I'm referring to, what I'm actually doing is I'm actually referring to this material. Wait, whoops, let me switch that back. Let me switch it back to my pen. I'm referring to, yeah, whoops. I'm referring to this material right here when I put a zero in. Why is this the zeroth material? So this is the first material here. So how could I reference the second material here? Good question. So if I wanted to reference this material right under, if I just press control, is it? Yeah. If I want to re reference this material under here, the middle material, this would be material one. And can you guess what the, the bottom material is? It's material three. Oh, sorry, two. <laughs> oh, it's material three, but to reference it, we just use a number two. Okay, so if we just want to refer to the first material there to load a material, we're going to use the zero number here. Okay, now we just need to, let me expand this a little bit actually, so we can actually see some of this. Um, let me just erase all my markings. Okay, yep. And so if we just export, we just go down here, select export a game folder. So we have to press on this file explorer right here. And what I have to do is I wanna go back to my bookmark or remember where I put it, Blender Projects, DVD Animation Tutorial. I wanna go into the game folder and yeah, that's it. So you don't actually go into the characters folders. You don't go any further. So you just wanna go into the game folder from where you exported it in UModel. Okay, so you wanna make sure this end thing right here is game. Okay, so you wanna press accept. So that's what it means by exported game folder. You literally need to be just in the game folder right there and you wanna stop and you wanna press accept. Okay, so now we're done. So what material are we going to load this DVD Pit Princess clothing preset to? We're just going to load it to MIS28 Torso 007. And these other materials are going to be completely untouched. So let's give this a try. So let's add shader maps to multiple materials. And the shaders are compiling at the bottom right here. Um, yeah, so can you see we've loaded this one right here. So it's MIS28 Torso 007 just to this material right here. 
Okay, actually we were wrong because uh, it is actually the, just the skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press DVD Pit Princess skin. I'm gonna select that and I'm just gonna make sure it's still on zero. So zero is just loading to this material here. And I press add shader maps to multiple materials. So we can see that we added the skin preset just to MI S28 Torso 007, leaving these, un these other materials untouched. So let's try to load the clothing preset to this second, uh, this second MI S28 upper body 007 uh, material. So how can we do that? We put a one right here because this is the second material or we reference it with a one. So let's do that. Add shader maps to multiple materials. And as we can see, if we look right here in the uh, if we look right here uh, in the shading tab, maybe that'll probably be an easier display. So we can see that the second material right here is using the DVD Pit Princess clothing, which is correct because it's the clothing. And this one, the, this first material is using the skin preset, which is correct. So that's great. Okay, the third one here. So what if we wanted to load two, uh, load a preset to two materials at a time? Because I know accessories is probably going to be clothing as well. So how can I load to both the MIS28, so load this preset, DB Pit Princess clothing, so it's a clothing material setup, to the MIS28 upper body 007 and MIS28 accessories 007. So I want to put it a one, then I want to put a single space in between it, and I'll put a two. So right now I'm going to load the preset of Pit Princess clothing to one and two. So materials two and three. So I'm gonna press add shader maps to materials. So basically we loaded it correctly and we can see that um, uh, we have those accessories uh, having this, uh, uh, this clothing preset. In fact, we probably could even just use the generic preset on the third material. Uh, we just press add shader maps to multiple materials um, actually, no, we're going to use the clothing preset. <laughs> okay, let's just use the clothing preset. So yeah, we can see that they all have the correct ones because it ha it's the same for the hat as well. And I want the hat to have the clothing preset as well. Okay, so now this second option down here, what is the difference between this one up here and this one down here? Because if the first one is surgical precision making, like precision loading the presets to specific numbers, I wonder what does the second one do? Or well, logically, the second one loads to all the materials on this on on this mesh, on this selected mesh. So basically, uh, it doesn't think of any numbers. It doesn't care that this is material zero and this is material one. Uh, it just loads the selected preset which is going to be DVD Pit Princess clothing to both of these materials here. Okay, so all, all the materials on the mesh. Okay, so I can just press add shader maps to all selected meshes and we can see that it loaded to both this one and that one. Actually, this is the same material, but um, just for explanation purposes, even if these were different materials, this would load to all this selected preset to all the materials on this mesh. Okay, fantastic. Now we just have to do the hair and this the, the skin right here, or the hair, I guess. So when I click on this hat right here, so let's have a look. So we have this hair right here. So if I wanna load this preset to uh, just this one here, because I don't wanna to touch that MIS28 accessories because that's already correctly loaded as the clothing preset, but we need to load the hair preset to this material here. So what number is this? So this is zero and this is one. So we wanna put a one into this uh, indexes to be loaded uh, box right here. Okay, now we wanna load, we wanna select that DVD Pit Princess hair thing and we wanna press add shader maps to multiple materials. Okay, and you can see that the hair is correctly loaded. Fantastic. Okay, the final thing here is we wanna select uh, this um, mesh here and we can see that there's MI lashes which is the eyelashes and MIS28 head OO. Okay, so for the MI lashes, it doesn't really matter, but technically we should use DBD Pit Princess hair on that. Okay, so if we, how can we load to the load to material zero? Like how can we load the DBD Pit Princess hair to just this lashes here? So this is a zero, right? 
So we just need to put a zero in this box and that's it. Okay, and we just press add sheet of apps to multiple materials. And as you can see, the lashes will have loaded right here. Okay, uh, so basically I'm just gonna change this color to a black. So I'm just gonna go to the shading tab and you can see that the, the color hasn't loaded quite correctly. So I'm just gonna use, uh, I'm just gonna make it a black here. So I'm just gonna turn down this color. So I'm gonna click on this diffuse here and make it a black. And as we can see, we have black eyelashes. Actually, technically, uh, what does she actually look like? Like, let me just have a look, uh, Michaela DBD. Michaela DBD. Okay, Michaela Reed images. She has like a red hair, like a ginger red hair. Okay. Okay, so yes, yeah, so she has ginger hair. So actually I'm gonna press Control Z and make sure that it's still the same color. So this is kind of brown. If you wanted to change this color here, we could change it like, like right here. So we could use any color. So if you wanted to change the hair color, same thing. So first of all, uh, you, can, you can unplug this diffuse and you can use your own um, color. So you can make this a green or something, but uh, for the sakes of this tutorial, and if there is something like a BC texture plugging into this hair material, I would suggest just leaving it as it is. Okay, so now that's fantastic. Now we just need to do one more thing, which is to load the skin preset, which is what this material is gonna be to this uh, head material here, this MIS28 head 00. So basically here, I'm just gonna load the skin. So I'm gonna select the DVD Pit Princess skin preset, and I'm going to, what, am I, what number am I gonna put if I just wanna load to this MIS28 head 00? I'm just gonna put a one because as we can see here, this is material slot one. Okay, add shader maps to multiple materials. We are fine. So we've imported this character perfectly. Um, yeah, so this was a little bit difficult. Apologies for that. Okay, so now let me just erase all my markings here. Okay, now let's get to the actual interesting part, uh, which is importing those other meshes. So let's go N uh, to uh, open this properties panel and let's import on the setting of all the PSK and let's import the hook and everything. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to go to the game folder, meshes, uh, interactable objects, meet hook, model, hook banshee. So don't worry that it's right inside her right now. We'll fix that in a couple of seconds. And we also want to import PSK. We wanna import um, the entity objects models, uh, just the entity end game kind of, oops, not that one. <laughs> not the entity end game, the meat hook spider. Okay, so we wanna do that kind of thing. And we can see there's two parts to it. There's actually one tentacles, uh, set of tentacles up there and one set of uh, tentacles down here. So we actually need to um, select all these meshes right here. So I'm gonna hold the shift key and I'm going to select everything here. I'm gonna right click shade smooth. Make sure everything's shaded smooth. And then I'm going to import the materials to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use the DVD Pit Princess generic preset here. And since we've already selected this game folder correctly, we actually don't need to care. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shift select everything here, all the meshes, and I'm just gonna press add shader maps to all selected meshes. And you can see, perfect, bellissimo. Uh, all the uh, textures have been loaded completely correctly. Okay, so now all we need to do is just load those animations. Actually, before, yeah, so we need to load those animations. So we're gonna start off by loading this animation first, and you can see she's in the, she's in the poll, but we're gonna correct that in a couple of seconds. So what we're gonna do is press N, oh, I keep pressing B instead, N, and I'm gonna to go to the PSK, PSA, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, click the skeleton, survivor skeleton first, so don't select the mesh, just select the skeleton for the survivor, import PSA. Okay, I'm gonna to go to characters, campers, um, common, animations, female, anim sequences, object interactions, uh, F, spider, um, Oops, I exported the wrong one. I should have exported struggle to sacrifice. So let me go back to U model and let me just go back to campers and let's go to animations, common, animations, female, um, anim sequences, uh, object interactions, where is object interactions? And I wanna get F spider struggle to sacrifice. Yes, so F spider struggle to sacrifice, not F spider struggle. That was my mistake. So I'll export it, uh, DVD there, and now I can just import that PSA. 
So let me go back, campers, common, animations, female, and sequences. I might bookmark this folder here because I'm probably gonna have to go back to it. So let me just uh, go to import this F spider struggle to sacrifice. So you can see that she's actually backwards a little bit. So I'm gonna have to select the skeleton and move it forwards a little bit. So I'm gonna press G to move it, and I'm gonna press Y to move it forwards. Okay, so that's looking correct, but you can see she's too low. So I'm just gonna press G, Z to move her upwards a little bit. And that looks a little bit more correct to me. Yeah, so that looks fine. I'd say that's okay. Okay, that looks good. I can adjust it a little bit later. So G, Z, maybe just a little bit more upwards, I feel. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we're just gonna import the correct animation to the entity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the entity skeleton and import PSA. I'm gonna to go to this anim, uh, characters folder and I'm gonna go back actually, I'm gonna to go to game, uh, meshes, interactable objects, entity objects, animations. And I wanna put in the uh, SK spider struggle to sacrifice animation. Okay, so now let's just play through it and just see how it's going so far. Okay. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. So how do I play? I press spacebar, or in my case, uh, shift spacebar because I've changed the spacebar key, but you can also uh, just press play by using this key right there. Okay, so yeah, so we can see that everything is working fine, but we don't have the whole thing. So the reason why is because we need to chain a few animations together. Okay, so and let, let's see what happens if we try to import another uh, survivor animation and we already have an animation on top. So what's gonna happen is it's going to just overwrite that animation. Okay, so let me just show you what I mean. So if I just go to uh, import this uh, F spider, F being killed by spider in, you'll see that it completely replaces the previous animation. So, so how can we get two animations on this at once? So I just press Control Z. Uh, what we can do, or actually if I just, uh, whoops. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll import it again. <laughs> I'll import that animation again. So, so um, yeah. So the way to do it is we just go to object interactions, and I just go. So let's say if I have this F being killed by spider. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to go to the action editor first. Okay. So which one do we want first in our timeline? So we want to change this timeline to an action editor which is just uh, this dope sheet here. We change it to an action editor. So we wanna change the active animation here. So here we can actually change which is the active animation. So we can change it. So the first one we, have, we wanna have is the struggle to sacrifice animation. So I click on this right here and I change it to struggle to sacrifice because that's the first one that we need. Okay, next, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and drag in this right corner here Whoops, <laughs> not like that, whoops, not like that. <laughs> uh, let me change this back to an Adobe Sheet Action Editor. Okay, and, oops, okay, yeah. So now, let's just click and drag from the right here and drag to the left, okay, to create a new window. And I'm just going to get, actually, no, no, no. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna delete that. I'm gonna click and drag from the bottom left here. And I'm going to create a uh, non-linear animation. So this one right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down this F spider to struggle, to sacrifice. So let's see what happens if I change active animation. You can see that this bottom bar right here changes. So this bottom bar, this bottom bar depends upon the active animation. So the first one though, should be this F spider to sacrifice, right? Okay, so this one comes first and let me just drag it into frame zero okay because you can see it's back a little bit but yeah okay that's good now let me just change this animation by clicking this right here to f being killed by spider in okay so we can push down this track right here okay but you, what you'll notice is like even if you do this right here so if i had this as a second track okay no that's fine but okay so what what happens if i have this one right here so if i if i have this one on top. So this animation, this F being killed by spider in plays correctly. But what you'll see happens is, what happens here? So can you see this animation right here, F spider struggle, just doesn't play correctly. 
Okay, struggle to sacrifice. So the reason why is because this animation on top is actually overriding this animation on the bottom. Okay, so there's many solutions to this, but what I suggest is if you don't need to mix the animations together and you don't need to change the blend mode, just drag this uh, animation right down to the same channel. Okay, so then this overwriting thing, if I just move this one to the back, if I move it to the back here, you'll see this overriding thing will not happen anymore. Okay, but obviously we want it on the left side. So we're just gonna leave it there. But we can see that we've now chained two of these animations together on the survivor. Okay, so all we need to do is just import one more animation for the survivor. So we wanna to go to the anim sequences, object interactions, and F being killed by spider out. Okay, so we wanna import that one. And we wanna push down it to an NLA track, track and we wanna drag this to the, uh, to the left here. So we wanna drag it to the very left. And you can see that it snaps to the end there. Okay, so we can see that uh, it works pretty well. So, and you can see that she's lifted up into the sky. Yep, cool. So now all we need to do is just add the appropriate animations to this, uh, to this um, entity skeleton. Okay, so we've selected this entity skeleton now. And if we just scroll down here, so by uh, clicking on this scroll bar on the right, we want to push down this first animation here. Okay, to push it down to an NLA track. And let me control Z that and just select one of these and let me just move it to frame one, okay? Because it was a little bit behind previously, it was like right there. But we wanna have it at frame one exactly, okay? Now, what I wanna do is I want to import the other two animations. And why is this not snapped to the end there? <laughs> yeah, so that's snapped, okay. So we want to import PSA, and I wanna to go to uh, anim sequences. Um, no, so I want to go to the DVD animation tutorial game uh, meshes, interactable objects, entity objects, uh, animations, anim sequences, and I want to import the SK spider stab in. Yep, so I want to do the st stab in now. So this is the second animation. So struggle to sacrifice is the first one right here, struggle to sacrifice, but we want to push this down to another track and drag this down to snap to the end there. So we have the stab in now, but we need the stab out. So all we need to do is just import that extra animation. So click on the skeleton, import PSA, go back to um, a DVD animation tutorial, game, meshes, interactable objects, entity objects, animations, anim sequences, and we wanna import this SK spider stab out. Okay, and just push down that to a track. And now I'm just going to, so I was just zooming out by, to zoom out on this, you can just use the control, uh, control middle mouse button to zoom in and out on this. Okay, control middle mouse button. Okay, so this SK spider stab out, I'm just going to put it at the end here and I'm gonna snap it to the end. And as we can see here, um, everything is actually working really nicely. So I just zoom in by just using that and you can see that she's being carried upwards and yeah. So that looks, that looks actually really good. Okay, so th that's actually finished there. But um, if you wanted to have the the loop area, so the loop, so we can also import the loop thing here, so the um, spider, F being killed by spider loop. So basically this animation here is used if you want to extend the period that she's in between the in and out, okay? So if you wanna, you can just push this down to another track and basically you can put this in between right here, okay? So you can put it in between. So this is optional, you don't need to do this, uh, but if you want to extend the period where she is like just basically on the hook. So then you can just uh, use this animation right here, this this loop thing, right? Okay, let me actually just check. Um, yeah, because, okay. Yeah, so you can just use this in between basically. Let me just check if it, let me just play it through. Yeah, so this one just extends it in between. But basically we don't need it, so I'm just gonna press Control Z. It's just if you want it to be there. Um, but it's very much optional. Okay, let me just Control Z that. Okay, so now that's finished right there. Okay, so you can just save this blend file and what I'll do is I'll save it here. I'll call it uh, Michaela, Michaela uh, Struggle 
uh, being killed. Um, hook sacrifice, I should say. <laughs> hook sacrifice dot blend. Okay, so I'll just save that blender file and we're done. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to do the end game animation because we have time, why not? Let me just delete this right here. So I'll just delete this meat hook and I'll delete the hook banshee and let's do that other thing. So let's just click on this skeleton right here, press Alt G to put it back to reset the uh, motion, the position keyframes. I oh, know the position keyframes to reset the position uh, changes that we made. Alt R to re reverse the, the um, rotation we made and Alt S to reverse the uh, scale transformations we made. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, remove these by just uh, remove those by clicking in the bottom left and dragging. So holding and dragging is the key to uh, deleting those extra ones. I'm gonna change this back to a regular timeline. So, and I'm just going to right click clear animation on that, on the animation thing there. And I'm gonna go to pose mode. I'm gonna press Alt A, Alt G, Alt R, Alt S to reverse all those bone uh, uh, poses, the poses that we did from that animation. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to do the the um, end game animation. So all we need to do is just import this entity end game ref, and I'll just uh, click on this mesh here, right click shade smooth, and what I'm going to do here is just uh, import. I uh, just uh, wait uh, is to import this uh, the textures. So so basically, I'm just going to go D uh, DBD Pit Princess generic, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on this one here and click on make sure the selected game folder is correct okay so it's just the game again it's just you have to be inside game from where you exported the uh, textures in new model okay so just make sure this end part is game and then now we're just going to use this add shader maps to all selected meshes because we only only need to uh, put it to this one mi end game uh, material so yeah, let's just press add shader maps to all selected meshes and you can see it imported fantastically. Okay, now all we need to do is just import the two animations here and we are done. So let's go to the PSK, uh, PSA thing and press, uh, click on this um, entity first maybe and let's go import PSA. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to go to game, um, so we're gonna to go to game, uh, meshes, interactable objects, entity objects, animations, atom sequences, entity, uh, end game BK. Okay, so this is this is the animation where it basically, uh, <laughs> it snaps up the survivor, as you can see. So let's just import the same thing to the survivor skeleton. So select the survivor skeleton, import PSA. We're gonna to go to the, basically we're going to, we're going to go to game, Characters, campers, uh, S, uh, common, sorry, animation, female, anime sequences, and again, you would do the same thing for male, if, but you'd use the male folder instead for male survivors. And we're gonna use the, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh God, did I not do it? Did I bring it in? A struggle to sacrifice, struggle. I may not have imported it. Okay, let me just grab it from you model as well. So let me just make sure that I have that struggle to sacrifice. Um, it's the BK. Uh, F spider BK. Let me just check where it is um, in my other blend file. Okay, so blend. And let me just open uh, for ending end game sacrifice. I'm just going to check what the name of this is in the um, action editor. Open this up. Okay, um, but what is it called though? F N Game BK. Okay, yep. So it was F N Game BK. I forgot to export that. So it's uh, under uh, game characters. So game characters, campers, uh, common animation, female anim sequences. Uh, probably under object interactions. F N Game BK. F end game. F end game BK. Where is it? F end game. End game. Oh wait, so end game BK. Actually, I remember in importing this. It was under anim sequences hits. Sorry, yeah, it was under hits. That's the one thing that I, I forgot about it. 
atom sequences. So let me just go F female atom sequences hits F end game BK. Okay, now that's working perfectly. So let's just go to the action editor. So if we just go to dope sheet, oh wait, sorry, no, no let's let's go to um, the uh, nonlinear animation workspace. And we're just gonna push it down just so that we can put it to frame one so we can actually see the whole animation. And yeah, and that's basically done. So let's have a play through it. So let's press N to hide that properties panel and shift spacebar or space spacebar itself to play the animation. And we can see that the survivor is being sacrificed very, very nicely. Okay, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it as we can see. So this is how to import pretty much all the animations, uh, whether it be it killer or survivor animations. So, but sometimes for so, so for killer animations, let's have a quick look. For killer animations, we would have to go into uh, slashes, uh, like so. For example, bear. Let's look at bear, which is um, thing, which is the uh, huntress. So anim sequence is it's usually under this folder here. So the anim sequences. So it's the killer, the slashes bear uh, and it'll be under these ones so let me just take off this folder right here and it will usually be under the attacks folder the interactions folder and these other folders here so basically that's how to chain these animations together so you would basically use the in so don't use the fpv fpv is first person view and your character looks really messed up basically so just use everything except fpv animations and we have to use the in and the out basically so we have to use F attack in, and then we'd probably need to finish it with an out one by using the NLA track, just like I show you, showed you, like pulling, pushing it down to NLA tracks. So thank you so much for being here. Um, and I hope you enjoyed and learned some things about how to animate and import animations from game to Blender. Okay, so yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Anime Nyan out. <laughs>